Welcome to Electron Line. So what do we mean by the superposition principle? Well, it's applied in the case where we have multiple source charges, each creating their own electric field, and we're interested in knowing what the electric field is like at some point, like let's say right there. That could be any arbitrary point, but we just picked that one. What is the electric field equal to over there? Because there's now three sources creating electric fields. Well, the superposition principle states that the electric field at this location is simply a vector sum of the electric field created by this charge, by this charge, and by this charge all added together. So let's go ahead and illustrate that, and then later on we'll see some examples of that. So the electric field created by this charge right here, of course, emanates in all directions, but relative to this point right here, we can see that there's going to be an electric field and this direction like so so at this location we can indicate that there's an electric field from this source from this source at this location in this direction so let's go ahead and draw it like this and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to just draw a vector like that the vector arrow that indicates that the length of the vector represents the magnitude of the electric field caused by this charge right here. So I'm going to call this Q1, I'm going to call this Q2, and I'm going to call this Q3 because it's easier to keep uh, tabs of what, what is what when we draw that. So this here would be the electric field as produced by the first charge Q1. Now we can do the same for Q2, except here we have a negative charge, which means the electric field emanates towards the charge. So from this direction to here, we can see that the electric field would be caused to be in this direction by this charge, and so we'll call this E2. And then finally, the electric field caused by this charge, since it's a positive charge, will be away from the, from the charge. And so when we get over here, the electric field will be in this direction, and we'll call that field E3. Now, to find the net electric field at that location, we would simply add those three vectors together, E1 plus E2 plus E3. So we can say that the electric field at that location is simply the vector sum of E1 plus E2 plus E3. Of course, to do that, we would have to find the x and y components of each vector, add only the x components together, add all the y components together. But again, we'll show you an example of how to do that. Uh, but here we just want to indicate that in case you're wondering how to find the electric field anywhere as caused by a multitude of charges, simply we find out what the electric field is for each one of the charges separately and then simply do a vector sum. And that's how it's done.